In this video, we're going to take a look at solving the rational equation x minus 2 over x minus 3 minus x plus 2 over x plus 2 equals 5 eighths. Looking at this problem, quite often there's a temptation to reduce the x plus 2 over x plus 2. However, with this problem, we don't want to do this. I'll explain why as we get to the end of this problem. First, to clear the fractions in this to make it easier to solve, we need to identify the least common denominator. We see factors of x minus 3, x plus 2, and 8 in this denominator. So we'll multiply each term by 8 times x minus 3 times x plus 2. Boy, running out of space here. Let's at least move this stuff down. 8 times x minus 3 times x plus 2 and 8 times x minus 3 x plus 2. There we go. When we do that, the x minus 3's divide out of the first fact term, giving us 8 times x plus 2 times x minus 2 minus the x plus 2's divide out, giving us 8 times x minus 3 times x plus 2 equals the 8's divide out, giving us 5 times x minus 3 times x plus 2. We now have lots we can multiply out. We can do this either by first distributing the numbers in front or multiplying out the binomials. I like to multiply out the binomials first and then distribute the number last. So that's what I'm going to do here. Notice with the 8 times, we have a sum and a difference, so we just have to multiply the first and last terms, giving us x squared minus 4. Minus 8 times x squared plus 2x minus 3x minus 6. I'm going to combine these terms in the middle here. 2x minus 3x to be negative x minus 6. Just combining those like terms equals 5 times. And again, we have x minus 3 times x plus 2. That's what we just did. So I know the answer is going to be x squared minus x minus 6 again. We just did it. There's no reason to do it twice. And now we're ready to distribute my great distribute here, giving us x squared minus 32 minus 8x squared plus 8x plus 48 equals 5x squared minus 5x minus 30. When we try and combine like terms, the 8x squared and 8x squared subtract out to 0. Then we've got negative 32 and 48, so it's going to be combined to 8x plus 48 minus 32 is 16 equals 5x squared minus 5x minus 30. Making it equal to 0, we'll subtract the 8x and the 16 from both sides. This gives us 0 equals 5x squared minus 13x minus 46. Our next step is to factor this polynomial. For the sake of time, I'm going to leave the factoring to you. It turns out to be 5x minus 23 times x plus 2. And then we can set each factor equal to 0 and solve the resulting equations by adding 23, 5x equals 23, and dividing by 5 to get x equals 23 fifths for our first answer, and subtracting 2 to get x equals negative 2 for our second answer. Before we call these our final answers, though, we want to plug them into our LCD, make sure our denominator's not 0. Clearly, the 23 fifths won't give us 0 because there's no other fractions. But notice when we plug the negative 2 into x plus 2, it does equal 0. This one does not count we get the only solution, 23 fifths.